okay, this is a video to show you how my Jeopardy style games work. This one is on weather and climate, but all of my Jeopardy games uh, work in a similar way. So the first thing you're going to do is click on slideshow and that will take you to the home page. Um, and you can see that my categories are water cycle, weather fronts, weather, climate, and climate change. The students will select the category that they want to start with and maybe they'll say a water cycle for 200. So we click on that and then it has a question. All the teams answer the question and then once everybody has answered, if I click on this answer, the answer populates. Now I'm going to, after everybody's answered and the student self-corrected, we're going to go to this little calculator, which will take us to the scorecard. And in the scorecard, in order to use it, I need to be in the edit mode. So I've named this, um, this team uh, Pink Rockets, and I'm going to give them 200 points. You can set this up ahead of time and the students can choose their own name. And then I can just keep adding to that. I can have up to five teams and you can just keep adding and calculate that. You could just do this on paper too. You do not need to do this scorecard unless you want to. And then when I go back, sorry, going to back to slideshow and the back arrow takes me back to the home page. Um, now that I've done a couple of the answers, one thing that you can do in the home page is I can take these uh, little rectangles and I can use them to cover up the ones that I have already asked and answered because there's no way for those to gray out or delete in Google Slides. And so that's what you can do. Again, you have to be an edit to manipulate the board. Um, and then I want to uh, go back to slideshow. And now I want to choose, um, maybe we're over here and we're going to choose uh, climate for, uh, for 500. We click on that. We've got the question, the students answer it. Then we click on answer to show the answer to everybody. And again, that can take us back to either the scorecard or the arrow takes us back to the main game board. And again, we can ask another question. The students ans answer it. And then we show the answer. And that's how the Jeopardy game works. And um, it's a great way to review information. It's really easy to use. Just remember, you have to move back and forth between the, the slideshow presentation and the edit mode in order to manipulate the different pieces.